So anyway, but back up to the first match, and I think, I think if not for the wacky Lesnar no contest shit that uh, people would be talking about this, Orton and Jeff um, make sense that they have their match first, so the two cell matches are far apart. You know that that makes perfect sense. So they, you know, give us time to breathe and forget about it and make things a bigger deal. Uh, God, how good is Randy Orton? Um, I love the genius of the, the screwdriver thing. It was disgusting. I couldn't look at it. I, had, I actually tried to rewatch it, and I still couldn't look at it. It was gross. But the genius behind it of behind it is, it's not a big, awesome. RKO through a table type of spot where people can chant holy shit and this is awesome and love Orton for doing it there was no no one was chanting how cool this was when he was just turning that screwdriver and they were you at least for me as a viewer I legitimately wanted him to stop doing that to the baby face uh so for that brilliant um I mean this is a two spot match the screwdriver and the um Oh, God, that, that Jeff's crazy missed splash swinging off the top and the whole thing. I don't think we really got to appreciate how high up he was because, really, that's an extra... That cell is higher than the others, and I don't know. I think he had a bigger ladder for when he climbed. Who the hell... I'd, you know, again, I have to... I kind of stopped. i got to rewatch that again. But anyway, this made us hate the heel for doing a bad thing to the baby face instead of half cheering because the thing he did to the baby face was really cool looking so kudos to randy orton and they and he took his sweet time as he does randy orton had no problem applying a chin lock in a hell in a cell match dead in the center and just made you watch it and i just got it so good um i was worried that this was going to be like a big big sleeper until until that screwdriver thing happened I know Jeff did the wacky thing. He got stuck in that ladder, which is kind of gross. And this match ended up being crazily bloody, even though there was no blading, which I thought I thought was interesting. So they they beat the holy crap out of each other. Uh, the welts and of course the flesh hanging off off Orton's leg was, was utterly disgusting. I am glad they they didn't have the referees just stop this thing like they've been doing for the past couple of years. Um, but I did notice this. There was a lot of blood on the canvas as you would expect mostly i think off from morton's back and in later matches at least by the end of the night i didn't, I didn't catch it right away but i think they uh, they put a, a new clean canvas on that or, or maybe the cameras were just maybe they just got around it and they fooled me but but um my opinion is they must have changed that because because the, the canvas was really gross after match one and because so many matches, I think, especially the two matches that followed were very elegant matches, you know, you couldn't really have them rolling around in old blood. And um, as we've learned from other podcasts and whatnot, uh, for, um, that Vince McMahon does not like um, blood-stained canvases. Uh, Ronda versus Alexa. Because of Brock's no contest, blah 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 um, Alexa is an unsung hero of this pay-per-view, and I, I hope she gets some credit she deserves, because this was the night where Alexa had to focus more on being a worker and not just being Alexa. Because, I hate to say carry, but yeah, she had to carry Ronda through Ronda's longest match. I'm sure the mixed tag was technically longer at WrestleMania, but you know, just of just Ronda. Uh, Alexa had to do all of the bumping, all the managing. I'm sure she was calling stuff as things were going. You know, they had all the bells and whistles they could with Natalia Foxy? Yeah, Alicia Fox and Mickey James all on the outside there. But even still, that, that those three women are not enough bells and whistles. So they really had to, uh, Alexa had to really ham it up. She had to really do the scared chicken and shit heel, back off kind of stuff. She had to be very careful on when and how she can cut off Ronda. And Ronda's gotten a bit better at selling, but she's still she's still very new and very, very green and very um, stiff. Not just stiff in the wrestling sense, but stiff in her movements. I really hate that arm drag that Ronda's been doing to all the women for the last month. It just looks... It looks like it's 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 injuring them. It looks like she's yanking their arms, their shoulders right out of their sockets. 
And if they're not, if she's not yanking her shoulders out, then you, you fooled me and great, you did great. But it, sorry, it kind of looks like she is. It doesn't look like they're taking their own bumps. And this is where the bumping school comes back, back into play. And if you're not taking your own bumps, you end up with a bunch of concussions just so Gene Snitsky can look good in front of 23 people. And what the fuck was that worth? <laughs> not bitter. <laughs> So, uh, but it doesn't look like people are taking her own bumps, like on that wacky angle slamish kind of thing she does, and everything else. I hope she's not ripping people apart with those freaking arm bars. But anyway, it was it was it was a good run. Uh, it was a good uh, back and forth, little real rough housing. Uh, I crack up every time Alexa does the mean face to uh, Rhonda, and Rhonda did it back to her and hit her with the the move, and ah, that's cool. That's a good time. Cause I don't have a problem with that match. I think it's time to move on. I have no idea what's next for the Raw women. I don't know why Natalia wouldn't want a title shot. Maybe they're doing that next. Who the hell knows? Are we just stalling for Ronda Charlotte? Is that all we're doing? Um, I don't know where Nia Jax went either. Either. Eh. So who the hell knows? That goddamn skull logo for Hell in a Cell comes up for the 800th time where the, the hand is pulling the skull back and a mouth opens and... Oh, they shoved that in our faces a trillion times. I think there's another Marine 6 advertisement here. 